Hi everyone, welcome to Watercolor Bible Journaling. I am Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor Stamping and this technique. And this week I'm going to walk you through the Light to My Path set. So I'm gonna show you how to stamp this little bench uh, with the light into your Bible. So I've chosen to stamp it uh, at Psalm 119. Psalm 119 verse 105 says, your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. And I thought that would be the perfect place to stamp this little scene. So we're going to need a few things. Uh, in addition to the Light to My Path set, uh, we are also going to use the Bible foliage set. We're gonna use the grasses and the little um, branch. Uh, also the vine, the vine too. And then in the flower set, we're gonna use several of these little flowers in this set. Okay, so let's get started. And we're gonna start out by inking that basic image. So. I'm going to place uh, in this set, there's a little Bible. There's a couple of different sizes actually, and I wanna place that Bible onto this bench. So I'm going to ink it and leave a space for, for me to do that. So I'm gonna ink it in two colors. I'm gonna start out by inking it in the 565, and I'm just gonna ink all of this area up here. So be sure to use the side of your marker when you're inking. Uh, just because it's so much easier that way. You'll get much more color on here. So now I'm coming to that area where I want to place that Bible. And so I want to be sure and leave a uh, space here on the, on the uh, seat of this little bench. So I'm just kind of uh, coloring all around this area. And then go ahead and color the rocks down below get all of that area. And then we're gonna go back over it uh, with the brown. And the brown is number 969. And we're gonna, so we're inking this in two colors. I'm gonna get a really nice gray tone. And we need that um, kind of earthy tone to kind of cement this image down and make it look like it's an actual thing and not, a, not just a stamp. Okay, so you can see I'm kind of avoiding that area still. I don't wanna ink that up. You could also take your thumb and just kind of wipe it off too. I just wanna make sure I leave enough of space. Okay, so I've got all this inked up and now I'm going to just stamp this off. I don't want this too dark on here, so I'm just gonna take a separate piece of paper and just stamp it off like that. And now I'm going to stamp it into my Bible and I'm stamping it about uh, halfway down the page and just get a good even pressure. Okay, that looks pretty good. And you can see I've got this open space right here where I'm going to place my little Bible. And it's okay if you get a few little lines in here. Those will wash right out, so that's not gonna be a problem. Now I'm gonna use a positioner and I want to make sure um, and I got a little water on here, but that's okay. I wanna make sure that I position this in the right place. So I'm going to just ink this up now, and I'm just gonna ink it in the brown. And just place that into the corner. And now I can see exactly where to place this. And I think it's gonna go perfectly right there. So I'm gonna remove the little shield. You don't have to re-ink it, just kind of huff on it a little bit and then place it right there onto the bench. So that makes it more versatile. You can use that little Bible anywhere. And I am ready to start now with the next step. And that is to pull the color out of the line. So I've already prepped my page and um, buffed it out. So I just used a, a little terry terry cloth like this and just kind of buffed it out to smooth it, smooth it out. You don't have to do this step, but if you don't like the gritty feel of this, um, the watercolor ground on your Bible, uh, go ahead and buff it out with a, with a cloth. I do that all the time and I, I really think it makes a difference. It keeps this really smooth to the touch so you don't have that gritty feel. Okay, so let me position this so that you can see. And I'm going to dip my brush in water now and pinch it off. So I'm gonna pinch it off to where it's flat and I'm just gonna start by pulling the color out of the lines. So I'm just gonna drag 
this color out. And you can see that the color from the lines will start to uh, kind of bleed out. And that's exactly what we want to happen. And just kind of drag your brush along the lines. Along here where this little Bible is too. And you can see you'll get a, a real mix of color in here because we've stamped it in multiple colors. So uh, we're gonna get a mix. And that's all going to help to create this three-dimensional image. So now I'm making my way down to the little rocks down here. And the biggest thing about doing stones or a stone path is that you leave a highlight on the top. So you want to kind of drag this color around so that you can see that highlight. It's really important to do that because uh, we don't want these stones to look flat and we want to be able to see that they're raised up a bit so they look a little rounded. And this is where you'll really see the mix of color coming out. So just kind of work your way around. This is the fun part, the relaxing part. So don't ever stress out about this. This is so fun. And you can see this watercolor ground. So this product we put on the page really, really makes a difference. And it, it sort of creates a watercolor surface on any paper. So it just works so well in your Bible or in a journal. So I'm gonna continue on now along this post. I'm just gonna drag this color out here a little bit and onto the light. Just kind of pull that color out of the lines. Okay, that looks good. So we've finished our first step and let's go on to the second step and that's to add our vines into this background. So I'm going to take a, um, a green. This happens to be number 228, but you can use any green. And I'm gonna start by adding some vines around this post. I'm just gonna stamp this in here a few times. I can bring some up here and then down along here. Alongside the bench, uh, maybe underneath and then over on the side as well. So we've got these vines just kind of growing everywhere. Don't worry about getting them in the right place. Honestly, it's, it's more about that you stamp them a bunch of times and it's really, really important to do that. So make sure you're stamping this a bunch of times, more than just once. Let's add a little bit more into this little opening here. So now we're gonna take our brush and we're going to uh, do the same thing again. So we're gonna soften the lines. We're just gonna kind of dab. And don't be afraid to kind of spread that green around. Just kind of drag that green all over the place. Just dip your brush, pinch it off, and just soften those lines that you just stamped. So easy. And you can see it all kind of comes together. It always kind of looks like a mess after you stamp it, or it does to me anyway. After I stamp it, I'm, I always feel like, oh my word, that's really a lot of green. And nothing kind of makes sense, but you know, it all kind of comes together when you add the water to it. It's like magic. And just keep jumping your brush around, just keep dabbing. Don't be afraid, like I said, to spread that green around. Easy to do. If you feel like you've got too much color on your brush, just clean it off. Just dip it in water, clean it off, and pinch it off, and go again. Remember, always pinch off your brush after you've dipped it in water. 
it's really important not to get too much water on there because these lines are really small and delicate. And if you get too much water on there, you could lose them all together. So we don't want that. Okay, so you can see it's kind of starting to come together here. We're getting a really nice blend of foliage in here. Our little bench. And I'm going to add some color now, some more green into the background. I'm going to do that from my palette. So I will just place this over here so that you can see. I want to see that glare on there. Okay, I think that maybe it would be better over here. Let's do this. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to add some bright green to my palette. And maybe one more color of green. And I'm just going to add some of this color now to the background. It's just going to create a little more dimension. Add a little more interest. And we're going for an image that looks three-dimensional. So it's really, really important to do all these steps. And when we're finished, it looks like a little painting. So just keep brushing this on. A little bit in the background. Don't stress out over this. There's nothing to it. Just brush a little bit in. Okay, that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and add some more green in here. And we're going to add some grasses now. So I'm using that tiny little grass from the foliage set. And I'm just going to stamp this into the background. And you can stamp a little of this in between the rocks as well. adding as much in as you want to. Dip your brush, pinch it off, and then pull that color up and out. Just pull it up and out. You could put some of this green now in between. Brush in a little of this green in between these little stones. Just keep blending that color. You can always go back to these two. So if you run out of time or you just, you know, might do a few things and then come back to it later and think, oh, I want to add a little more to that design, you can. The water will just activate that color again and you can just keep adding more detail. Okay, so let's move on to the next step. And we're going to add a little sky in here. And I'm gonna do that with this blue. So this is the same blue we used in the beginning, number 565. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this on my brush and put a little bit in the background. And just brush it in. Don't be afraid to add enough water. You know, if you start to see stro uh, streaky, uh, streaky lines, you know, when you're applying this color, you need to add a little more water to it. Just add a little more water. That will take care of it. Let's put a little bit down in here. And let's put a little bit in this, this lamp. Okay, 
So let's keep going here. We're gonna add a little more color now to this bench and we're gonna do that with this blue because we're, we're gonna keep this bench white, but in order to keep something white, we still wanna add a shadow to it. So we have to show that uh, darker color that's in the shadow uh, so that we can see that it's three dimensional. If we leave everything the same, uh, it's gonna be flat. So we never wanna do that. So I'm just adding a little shadow now to the background and to the bench a little bit, pulling out a little more of this color. Add a little more onto this side. We could add a little of this blue now to the rocks too. And we want to add a shadow underneath here too. Just a, a darker area. So we can see that shadow underneath that, that bench. Let's add a little of this blue now to the Bible. The pages are white, so we want to still see that, that shadow. And don't be afraid to add a mix of colors to this bench. You know, when you're looking at something in the distance, especially that's in the foliage, it's gonna have a lot of colors on it, shadows and, and reflections, and don't be afraid to just add more color to it. I'm gonna add a little more brown to it, a little more brown to the top of that light. And mixing that brown with the blue kind of creates this really nice gray. More brown on here now. It kind of looks like an old weathered bench with lots of different colors on it. Kind of like that. Okay, that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and add some foliage in here and let's brighten this up a little bit. So we're going to add some flowers. And we're gonna do that with the long stem, so this one. And I think I'm just going to ink the blooms. And I'll show you how to create a different uh, stem. So I'm just inking the bloom. Put a couple in here. Uh, maybe some back in here. So I've only inked the blooms, so I'm just going to go through now and add a little water to it. You can see how that water just kind of activates that color and just really pops these out. And I purposely did that so that I could show you how to uh, just add your own uh, stem. So just take the fine tip now of your marker and just add your own stamps. Remember the goal is that this looks like a painting, not a stamp. So we want it to look, uh, we don't want anything to look too uniform and the same. Okay, 
and let's add a little bit more in here. So let's add some smaller little flowers. So let's use a different color. Let's go back to the blue. And I'm just stamping these little dots in here. And you can see I'm using a, a darker color uh, because I'm stamping over the top of the green in a lot of color. So I don't want to uh, lose these little flowers. Okay, so now I'm going to just touch them with my brush and really pop them out. Same with these little blooms up here. And like I said, don't be afraid to, you know, add some color in the background. You know, you've got a lot of color on your brush, so you can just add a few more little dots in the background just to kind of fade things out a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's do something down in the foreground here. So I'm just going to uh, clean off my stamp. So I'm just gonna ink it up in two colors, uh, just the bottom here where these little stones are. I'm gonna ink it in two colors, just like I did before. So with the blue and then the brown, just a few. And then I'm going to stamp that right into the foreground. And I'm just gonna pull the color out just like I did before. So just kind of drag this color out. We're just gonna create the idea of the little path coming forward. And let's add some more grass in here. Put in as much as you as you want. Just the idea of it. And then dip your brush in water and pinch it off. And just blend the color. It's all the same technique. It's all the same routine. Dip your brush in water, pinch it off. So easy. And let's add just a little more color in here. add some little blooms just like we did before. We'll sort of continue that theme, these little blue flowers, and just add a few down here. Tip your brush, pinch it off. And then just look it over and see if there's anywhere that you need to add a little more color, a little touch of something. And like I said, you can always go back and add more to it later. Sometimes you just miss things uh, when you're stamping or maybe you don't quite have time to finish everything, but you can always go back. And that looks pretty good. We've got space to uh, write something up here, journal something down in here. Uh, always date. 
always make sure to put the date down at the bottom. And today is the 6th. And I have diagrammed that for the future. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'll be back again with the second half of this page. So be sure to look for that video. Um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And for those of you who love watercolor, there's more watercolor on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, Bonnie Krebs Bible Journaling. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.